a diabetic, monitoring their blood sugar levels and keeping them under control is absolutely critical for their overall health. So if you don't keep your blood sugar level in check, that could eventually lead to death or uh, cardiovascular disease, eye problems, uh, people have to have uh, leg amputations. So what a diabetic has to do right now is do finger prick tests with something called a glucose meter. This finger prick test, it's just this one time point snapshot of what their blood sugar is. What we're trying to do is something very different. It's gonna enable potentially a diabetic to have continuous glucose monitoring. The sensor that we're trying to develop, we envision that it would be placed in the skin just below the wrist, and this device would be complemented with something that looks like a watch. The watch device is a pretty standard uh, LED with a photo detector, and that LED shines light in and it gets light back from the implanted device, and that changes color based on the glucose concentration. So the idea there is you can measure it uh, as often as you want, and so by monitoring more often, you can uh, regulate your sugar levels better. This should have an immediate impact on short and long-term complications and the amount of dollars spent to treat diabetics. Developing this implanted glucose biosensor is actually a team effort. So it's really two parts to the technology. One is the biocompatibility membrane that our biomaterials folks like Dr. Grunlin are working on, and then the sensor chemistry, uh, and that's the fluorescence and the optics, and that's my area. We're using light in terms of monitoring the behavior of proteins in response to glucose, and so just the idea of putting two different fields together, it's just great. This research is supported by the National Institute of Health, and this funding has enabled us to prove that this concept actually works. Right now we think that the self-cleaning membrane has other far-reaching potential as well. So whether it's, it's clotting or the foreign body reaction, a lot of medical devices fail due to this inability to keep their surface clean. So we think that the membrane could actually have far-reaching implications for medical devices in general. And if you think about children who have to manage this disease, think about how much freedom we're giving those kids. And so to give them that freedom is something that we really are driven to do.